So we just talked about the economic logic underlying the description of an individual supply curve for a firm as also being its marginal cost curve. But a natural question then is why are supply curves upward sloping? And so in order to talk about that, we first have to rely on this logic. And so remember that we just defined supply curves as equal to the marginal cost curve. And so what that means is that if supply curves are upward sloping, then we must be assuming that marginal costs are increasing as you produce more and more of a good. Otherwise, you would have a flat marginal cost function. So if every single unit of a good that you sell costs the exact same, you would have a flat marginal cost and therefore supply function. And if for some reason, the more you produce, your costs actually decreased, you would have a decreasing supply function. And most of the time, and when we look at different markets, we find that they either have a flat marginal cost function or an increasing one. So let's talk about two different reasons why we think that a lot of markets have an increasing marginal cost and therefore supply function. The first one is, by, is uh, due to diminishing marginal products. So let's again think about a gas station and what are the types of um, variable costs that you can um, change as you want to sell more and more. Well, you could hire more people to work at the gas station. So the, you could have people who are there to help in some states and in some countries, you have people who are there to actually fill up cars. And one thing that you could do if you want to sell more and more gasoline is you could hire more and more people. However, if you only have a certain number of gasoline pumps, then eventually you're going to have it to where you have some people who are actually filling up cars, but then you have other employees who are just going to be standing around. And they're going to be, as you hire the second employee, he is less productive than this employee who's able to run around and fill up the pump for everybody. And this is what's known as diminishing marginal products. So the amount of product, which is gasoline, that I'm able to sell from hiring this first person to come here and start to fill up cars is going to be higher than the amount of product I can get from hiring the second person. And I'm paying both of these guys the exact same wage. And so I'm paying the same wage and I'm getting less out of them. And that means my cost per gallon of gasoline that I'm selling is all of a sudden higher. And now all of a sudden, let's say I want to hire a third or a fourth person to operate these two other pumps right here. Each one of them is going to sell less and less um, gasoline as I continue to hire more people because they're going to all of a sudden start getting into each other's way. And so that's one reason is just that my inputs become less productive as I expand my operation whenever I'm stuck with the exact same, say, building and infrastructure. The second one is just rising input costs. So let's say that I just want to sell 30 million gallons of gasoline, but now all of a sudden I want to go out and buy another 10 million gallons of gasoline. And because I'm asking for more and more gasoline, it may be the case that the local refinery also has an upward sloping supply curve, and it would cost them more to make those last units of gasoline, and therefore they charge us a higher price. And so the gas itself could, be, be, um, could become more expensive as we're selling more and, and more gasoline to consumers. So both of these reasons are, are, are stories that we often see in markets um, that lead us to find that supply curves are generally upward sloping um, uh, in, in, in practice.